Mystery Magic and Midnight Feasts, The Many Adventures of Enid Blyton displays lifestyle models of the author's most famous books such as Noddy and Blyton's original hand-corrected typescripts. Martin Crowther, Museum and Galleries Manager at Canterbury City Council, believes the exhibition will bring families and their children together, remembering Blyton's greats. I think Enid Blyton is still very much loved um, by people in this country across the generations. Blyton's work became increasingly controversial between literary critics, parents and teachers in the 1950s and onwards. This was because of her alleged unchallenging nature between her writing and the themes of her books. Although the exhibit may bring conflict between critics, Martin thinks there is elements of Blyton's work that should be celebrated. Yeah, I mean, I mean she was very much a product of her, her time. I mean, if you look at it from today's society, yeah, I mean, certainly some of her characters in her stories would, would not feature today and, and that's absolutely right and proper but um, I think we've got to look at her in, in context and she did write some wonderful stories and if you just keep that element out of it uh, I think there's lots there to, to enjoy. The famous author's work has been called racist, sexist and elitist. Charlie Byrne who works in a bookshop disagrees with her original transcripts being on show. Racism was just standard procedure of, of the British people at the time and I believe in modern society, we shouldn't be teaching old-fashioned views on things like this for children. And I think we can update them, bring them into the 21st century, get the classics that we love, but suitable for the modern day. However, local author Faye Beerling disagrees and thinks it's a nice idea to share with children traditional books about having adventures. I think it's lovely that she is still being celebrated, you know, as an amazing authoress, if you like, all those years ago until now. The exhibit will go on until April 19th, displaying Blyton's stories and bringing them to life for all generations.